Now that's what I call a summer finale. Hey everyone, my name is AmericanTVEquals.com and welcome to a brand new review of Major Crime Season 2, Episode 11, titled Poster Boy. This also happens to be the summer finale for Major Crimes. Before we delve in what worked and what didn't work, let's talk about the story. In Poster Boy, the team just delves into this really gruesome scene and gruesome murder following this trailer that's just dropping bodies all along. It turns out the killer was actually a wannabe reality show star who was just using anybody in any means so in order to get to his goal. Unfortunately for him, at the end, he is essentially surrounded by the police and he commits suicide. So what worked in this episode? I loved, loved the story in this episode. The structure of the story was super original. So you knew from the beginning who did it and you could actually follow the killer all throughout. So it was sort of a mix between a procedural with the team trying to find this guy and where he is and trying to get him and also a mix of a character study, so to speak, because you are seeing things from the perspective of the killer and you're also seeing his MO. So it, it was a very interesting mix and I thought it was definitely one of the more original episodes of Major Crimes this season. What really made the story work was the performance of the actor who was playing the killer named Chris Wood. This guy has some freaking talent because this part of the story would not have worked if the performance was not believable. And I have to say, Chris Wood did a fantastic job really portraying a character that yes, was completely and utterly disturbed, but at the same time had layers and felt some form of remorse and it was a little bit more complicated than it just looked like. He wasn't just some crazy guy, he was a crazy guy who was trying to find himself in a very wrong way, but tried to find himself nevertheless. So, Chris Wood, good job, man. And also in this episode, Rusty's scheme to stay out of witness protection sort of falls apart when Chris snitches on him to Rios. It also led to one of the more emotional moments of this episode when Sharon just looks at him and says that whatever happens, I love you, which was a very strong emotional moment because you always knew that she really felt strongly for him and she had this motherly connection, but she never really fully expressed it because I felt like she wanted to keep some distance, but now she was just flat out saying, you know, I love you, I will always have your back. And I thought that was a pretty good moment. It, it really stuck with me. It was definitely a strong moment. And today I'm actually gonna skip what didn't work because quite frankly, this was one of those episodes where really everything worked. But I do have a few questions, especially knowing that this was the summer finale and we have new episodes coming in November. What are the questions that are sort of bubbling in my head right now? First of all, is Rusty actually going to go into witness protection? Really, there's no reason why that character has to automatically go there. I feel like the creative team has a choice of how they can play with that character. They could say, hey, he has to go to witness protection. And really, for me, that would be the end of that storyline altogether because I don't see what would be the reason of sending him and bringing him back out, except maybe for a guest spot. Or they might come up with sort of a, an answer thinking, oh, well, we should send him to witness protection, but there's not enough money or something like that. It, they could find a middle ground. So I don't know how, what they're gonna do with that. Also, you know, the person who's been writing all those like creepy letters now apparently is gonna threaten Sharon, which is like, okay, so what? <sighs> I'm not really a big fan of that whole mystery storyline thing, but I'm actually curious now. I wanna know why is he that person after Rusty? Why is that person after Sharon? Good questions. Speaking of Sharon, did you guys notice that moment where Sharon and Flynn were sort of sharing something and Flynn was actually calling her Sharon? Are they trying to put those two together? That would be kind of weird, right? Because she's the captain and he works under her. That would be weird. And I'm not really sure that's a couple that I want to see together. I don't know. Maybe I read too much into it, but that's sort of something that's in my head as well. Basically, that's what I thought of the episode. And overall, I loved it. Definitely an awesome summer finale posed some great questions, just fascinating to watch, enjoyed it thoroughly. But enough about me, what did you think of this episode? Comment below and let me know. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. We have more reviews and great content coming up down the line. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.